Hey guys, Madison is on one. We've tried to record this 16 times, and this is like, either this is it or it's not. Maddie, what are we making this week? We're making spaghetti squash. It's gonna be amazing. Woo! Last week we made something that was kind of safe. We did stuffed bell peppers, so this is gonna be an opportunity for us to really step out of the comfort zone and try something new. So anyway, we're pumped, and stay tuned, enjoy. All right, Maddie Suda. Yeah. Let's break down the ingredients for the people. All right. We have kosher salt. We have pecans. We have our lovely spaghetti squash. Butternut squash. No, spaghetti squash. It's called spaghetti squash? It's called spaghetti squash. Mm, you learn something new every day. Because it looks like spaghetti when you eat it. Okay, okay, cool. Well, I thought it was it not called butternut squash. No, it's spaghetti. Okay. This is parsley. Okay, great. We have some garlic cloves. Lemon. Mm hmm Pepper. Good. Seasoning, Asiago cheese, okay, and olive oil. What is it? Olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. E V O O. E V O O. Extra virgin olive oil. E V O O. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna dive in. First step is to cut the spaghetti squash. I'm not really sure how to go about this, so I would I would cut it in half. Well, we have to. But should like this. I was gonna do it like down the middle. Well, either way, it's gonna be a half. But... I mean, I meant like, amiga, like down, like center. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Good stuff, Charles. Patty, I tried to do a selfie and I went like this. Ready? Oh, fine. <laughs> Wait. Oh, be careful. I Dick. Oh, I didn't anticipate that it would be so hard to get through it. No, it's fine. Okay, let me do it. Let's switch. Let's switch. <laughs> okay, you know, I sold this cutlery. What cutlery is that? It's called... It's called... Nope, no. nope. We're not doing any promotions. No promos! Not until we get that check. Hashtag, I have to go to college. Everything's gonna be a Maddie college fund. Everything. Oh, she's making progress. Lord. This I just don't want the knife to pop up work. on the other end. Yeah, for sure, right? Maybe you should try to go the other side now? If I could get it out. Okay, switch. Lord! Switch. Lord! Switch. Maddie, this is all kinds of dangerous. <laughs> it's painful, this is it? This okay, so basically, um, just to forewarn you guys, we looked it up on the recipe. They have a video. And evidently, Maddie, tell them how you're supposed to do it. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to kind of like hack it like so. And then you get like another knife or like a... You can go a like mallet. Like you that. need like a mallet. Yeah, a mallet. And then just go like that. But so I'm not gonna break it. I don't know. Should we find something wooden? Can you, yeah, can Where's you the find thing? Else? Are you kidding me? We have one. I don't think this should be like a family one, you guys. This should be like a, you know, adults only. Oh, Maddie, that sounds so strong. Yeah. Look at this. Who knew? Like kind of breaking my hand, but don't. Oh, but. oh, oh, oh! Cause you gotta lean. Like this. Maddie, I don't. Okay, it's okay. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're good. You guys, like the stuff that you learn. Like, wow. The stuff that you learn. I'm just so thankful. Let's see what it looked like on the inside. Bam. And I think we have to get this out. It kind of looks like a cantaloupe, yeah. Yeah, babe. It even smells interesting. Yeah, like a squash. Like a pumpkin. Mm, yeah, yeah, pumpkin. Like you used to do as a kid. And you see how stringy it is? That is what's gonna happen once this whole guy is, is cooked. He's going to turn into little ribbons that look exactly like pasta. She's so cute, I love watching her. Now you just want to roast them, so you're gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive okay, oil. Okay, she's giving away our secrets. She's giving away our whole show. 
Man, Maddie, even like the inside of it isn't like, you know how cantaloupe, it's so easy to like... Scoop out. Yeah, girl, this is... Oh, I wonder if you can um, like roast the seeds, Maddie. You want to? Mm. I've had it before where it's like you put seasoning on it and you cook it in the pan. Like pumpkin seeds? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, maybe. No, I'm going to do it because I haven't had a good snack in ages and I'm like, let me try something. So is the goal just to take the seeds out? Or no, we want like... all the ish out. I mean, all of it. So, guys, the stuff is like freaking alien goop. And there's so much of it. And she wasn't all that specific about, like, if you can have some of it still left or not. What do you want to do, Maddie? You want to keep it or leave it? That's enough. Yeah, we can just go off from that. Over. Over. Okay, Maddie, explain what's happening now. Okay, now we are drizzling the insides with olive oil. I guess you just kind of rub it in. And then we're going to season the insides a little bit with salt and pepper. So I guess we kind of use this as like a rub to help season the squash before we get into like all like really big deal seasonings and such. Okay, so now Maddie's put together like a kosher black pepper mix. And um, she just got done putting like all the olive oil into the center of the, of the squash. And the salt and pepper will be rubbed in, right babe? Mm-hmm. Kind of like marinating like a steak, mm -hmm. like a chicken, just without the meat. Oh, top down? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. And we don't need anything on the pan, it's just straight on. The good thing about this pan too is, even if we did need something, it's not a steak. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, and actually what we need to next is, we're gonna cut some garlic up. Okay guys, so we were hoping that we would be able to kill two birds with one stone and make the pesto while we were um, waiting on the squash, but it turns out that you actually you need used... the roasted garlic that's cooking with the squash in 33 more minutes. So, um, thank God for these pumpkin seeds. We're gonna look up the best recipe and hopefully they'll come out good. We'll see. According to the instructions, the way to go is to rinse the seeds and then we want to. Um, <laughs> oh, <I'm... laughs> she's got it. And then we want to. By George, I think she's done it. Or, you know, and then we want to dump them. And uh, pat them dry. Oh, uh. oh, oh. Oh my god, if that so isn't a surprise for the century. Lord, it's just gross. Oh, you know, I felt like I had done all the digging you could do. Okay, so we want to pat them dry. And then the recipe actually said cook it in the oven, but I've seen it done on a stove top. So that's the way I'm going to go. And I actually want to make these spicy. So I'm going to grab some Tony Chattery's. We don't, they don't sponsor oh, us. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to grab some seasoned salt. And uh, we're going to see... We get like you know something really good out of this. I'm actually pretty pumped. Um, in case you guys watched last week's episode, we're still fasting, so you shake now. Oh, skirt. shake. So uh, shake. <laughs> Maddie, we don't have to go that hard on trying to like not promote the brands. My goodness, and it's not even coming out. It's okay. I try. Oh wow. What we got cooking in the uh, cast iron skillet over here? Uh, started off with the oil. It's smoking. <laughs> so, anyway, popping. Yeah, it's popping. And 
don't know, in my mind, it was like a little bit more dramatic. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay, guys, so now for this next step, we are going to. Um, yeah. Can I look in the camera and see if it's getting it? Yeah. All right, so what seasoning are we using? No, we're just gonna test them. <laughs> There's like three in there. Bam. Yeah. We're gonna mix them. With do you want a nut pesto or do you want a pesto? <laughs> <laughs> See, I was trying to flex on somebody. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, so now we're taking half of the parsley to make the pesto. Maddie, are we gonna cut off the bottom part? No, of we it keep everything. The whole thing in there. Everything. Okay, great. Oh, that looks so good. I'm so pumped. It smells awesome too. We've done it. We've made pesto. All right, you want to talk us through? Okay, you said we're grabbing, this is our roasted garlic. So basically what we're doing is we're just pushing it through um, and dropping it into the pesto now. Do we really need all that garlic? No, I'm only gonna use a tiny bit of it. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. I think that'll be good. That amount. All right, cool. Man, that looks so fresh, my goodness. Right? It smells even better. My heart cream show. Okay guys, so we're gonna try the pesto very quick. Tell, ma'am. Do you see how she talks to me? No, we're gonna edit this out. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. The nuts is in here? The nuts is in now. You put the seeds in here? I put the seeds. No, not those nuts. <laughs> no. Maddie. Maddie, it tastes like a restaurant. I know. <coughs> nice, babe. I know. It's got cheese Asiago in it. Asiago cheese. Asiago cheese. I can taste it. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. Okay, you guys, moment of truth. We're about to see what this bad boy is all about. Then I got stopped when I'm walking the streets. Walking down the street, walking down the ass with the kids in the dark way. I said, if she can't dance with this, it doesn't matter. We're in here jamming chaos. Okay, we don't have enough space to jam. All right, ready, money? Let's go. Ooh. All right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do it like this. And when I just pull down, it just falls out. Like spaghetti. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, you guys, look. Like, it's literally like little spaghetti strands. It looks like spaghetti. Forget carbs. Let's get it popping, ladies. Then I got stopped when I'm walking the streets. Announcement, it might look like spaghetti, but it does not taste like spaghetti. Maddie, it's not funny. Sorry, right, Charles. It's still good. I just, it's a very like, it's a like very dense texture, and I guess I thought it would taste a little softer. I wonder if I put it in the microwave, then I'll change. And like Chelsea, like just so we can like get all like the little bits, like you, she used a spoon over here just to like really make sure we got. Maddie, get really close so you can see butt. that it's like layers of like spaghetti. Isn't that the coolest thing? Like even if like you don't like squash, you're like you might not even like this recipe. Like this is just cool to like and like fun to play with, you know? We're not wasting food. I, I feel mean, like eat it, but. you may not want it like in the context that like we're making it. Maybe you could change it up, but this is freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we tried it. You could probably make like a hash brown kind of thing with it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like it's yeah. like similar to like a potato. Or like, yeah, or like meat sauce. You can make it like legit spaghetti, you know? Yeah. Okay guys, we're just gonna have an awesome, like an honest moment. Um, we're not sure if we're so crazy about this. It's like very cool in terms of like the process and how you make it and everything, but I actually think it should maybe be chilled. I don't even know. I think for me, 
it's because it looks like spaghetti. So when I but put it, it in my mouth, like I'm expecting like this spaghetti consistency and like how it's supposed to taste, but. Okay guys, we just wanna say thank you so much for watching um, this week to say the least. Uh, Maddie, you wanna smile? <laughs> We're a little disappointed, you know, spaghetti squash, we're just going to have to play with it. I think in, um, she did a really good job adding the chili powder and tomatoes and cheese and stuff, but we want to, when the fast is over, probably try some different stuff, like add meat to it, like mm -hmm. maybe chicken or ground turkey, and just see, you know, if something, anything will come together. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so um, like we said, thank you for watching. Maddie, tell them where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Madison Coffee, C O F F E Y. Mm -hmm. And you can find me Twitter and Instagram, Chelsea underscore Alexa. So, like we said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>